Today, we're going to talk about the shocking discovery that fungi have been found in 35 types of cancer. Now, the connection between cancer and microbes and microbiology has been explored for centuries because the thinking goes along the lines of, well, bacteria and flu viruses can make us sick, so surely there's a relationship with cancer. But up until now, the connection between fungi and cancer has rarely been looked at. However, a recent study examined over 17,000 patients' tissue, blood and plasma across 35 different cancer types. And guess what? They found fungi in all of them. So how did the scientists do this? Well, they stained the cells to reveal fungi in these human tumours. And by doing this, the researchers were able to detect fungi in melanoma, pancreas, breast, lung and ovarian cancer tissue microarrays. So what did they find? Interestingly, fungal staining was dominant within cancer cells in pancreatic, breast and ovarian cancer, but was mostly localized in the white blood cells in melanoma and lung cancers. So you're probably asking or thinking to yourself, what types of fungi did they find? Were they the same types found in water damaged buildings? Now, I want you to go to my blog for a deep dive into this specific paper at biologicalhealthservices.com.au. But for now, I can tell you that different types of cancer had different dominant fungi. For example, colon cancer had high levels of ascomycete fungi like yeasts, while breast cancer showed high levels of both ascomycete and Basidiomycete fungi, as well as bacteria. Drilling into the data showed that Aspergillus and Malassezia fungi were very dominant in breast cancer. So what can we and you do with this information? The researchers suggest that screening for selected mycotypes, and these are defined as core groups of fungi like Aspergillus and Candida, could help identify early stage cancers. It's noteworthy that these tests were done on plasma and could therefore be very useful biomarkers for cancer. So there you have it. Fungi have been discovered in different types of cancer, and this could lead to early detection and treatment of the disease. Thanks for tuning into The Mold Show and see you next time on my podcast or go to any of my socials. I'm your host, Dr. Cameron Jones.